Good morning, New Beginnings. It's me, Pastor Danish House. Today is Tuesday, September 21st, 2021. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I'm delighted that you are part of my life as well. Well, thanks for being here today. Um, today is Tuesday. Uh, it's September 21st. So today in the Jewish religion is the beginning of the seven-day uh, festival of Sukkot. Sukkot. Um, it's about seven days, uh, plus or minus a little bit. Uh, Sukkot is uh, in the Bible described of, as the Feast of Booths or the Feast of Tabernacles. Uh, and it's a time when uh, the people of Israel remember when uh, their ancestors were in booths in the wilderness, living in tents or tabernacles in the wilderness, wandering in the wilderness for, for 40 years. Um, it's a time of, of, of thanksgiving and a time of, of getting back to their roots. And it's a good, it's a great uh, feast. Um, if you look, uh, I live right next to Vassar College and uh, outside the Vassar uh, Hillel home or the Jewish home, there is a, a Sukkot that's been built outside for people to live in. And uh, Jews will, uh, will build their own tabernacle outside their homes and will live in the tabernacle rather than in their houses during this time. Um, it's, a, it's a cool uh, time and we wish a, a happy Sukkot to our Jewish friends. Because today is Tuesday, there's Celebrate Recovery for men and for women at 6.30 p.m. at Full Gospel Center in their sanctuary. Uh, Full Gospel Center is near Arlington High School, just uh, around the other side of the rotary from Arlington High School, High School and just a bit up the road. Uh, Full Gospel Center has uh, Celebrate Recovery meetings, one for men, one for women. Both of them are in their sanctuary at 6.30 today. A little tired at a late uh, night elder board meeting last night and um, I'm, I think I'm getting pretty pooped from, uh, from all the work that's necessary to reopen the building. Um, but, uh, I'm glad that you're with me today. Um, and I'm actually in the, in the tired state that I'm in this, uh, this devotional today was really meaningful to me. I was thinking about that this, this morning, um, God talks about in Zechariah chapter eight, verses one through eight, that the, the first and the primary, um, blessing that comes from a return to God is is actually the presence of God himself. God says, I have returned to Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. God is going to return to, he did return to Jerusalem and, he, and he's going to dwell there in their midst. And having God in their midst, being in contact with God, having God uh, present with them, was the biggest blessing of all and the first blessing from which all other blessings flow. Um, what does it mean to take time to be with God? Um, you know, I, I think about it and I think that one of the blessings of the, the Christian life is that we have the opportunity to spend time with God um, instantaneously and at any time that we wish. Uh, when, G when we give our lives to Jesus, when he draws us to him, uh, through his grace and we respond to him in faith, his Holy Spirit comes and lives inside us. And so God is as close as, as uh, even our very hearts. So we have close, intimate access to the living God. Um, we, can, we can have access to God through prayer. We can have access to God through the, the Holy Scriptures. Um, we can have access to God through quiet meditation in his presence. In fact, throughout the Bible, God encourages us to take time to be quiet and to sit before the Lord, to listen for his voice and to enjoy the beauty of his holiness and the beauty of his presence. And, you know, so often in the church, we spend a lot of time doing stuff, trying to get stuff done, rush here, rush there, uh, got to accomplish the tasks of the ministry. And we spend very little time actually uh, spending time in God's presence quietly with him and being refreshed by being in his presence. Um, I feel a need for that refreshing today. I, I need some time to be with God. I'm going to take some time today to be with God, uh, quiet and alone. I hope that you do as well, uh, because we need that time with God. And the less that you feel like you need it, probably the more that you do need it. Um, and when you 
when you realize that you need it, it's often because you've needed it for quite some time. Same is true about, about thirst, right? Um, when you're thirsty, it means, when you, when you feel thirsty, it means that you uh, have, your, that your body has been depleted from the water that it needs. It's, you're, you're becoming dehydrated. Um, by the time you start to feel thirsty, it's, you're already well along the process of dehydration. I'm thirsty right now. I'm thirsty for God. I'm thirsty for, uh, I'm thirsty for this water. I'm going to have a sip. It's refreshing, right? It's refreshing to uh, be in the presence of God and to, to receive from him. I want to encourage you today. If you're tired, if you are in need, uh, go to God. If you don't feel tired, still go to God because the truth is you're on your way to being tired and you need you do need to be refreshed every day. You need it before you start to feel it. Spend time with God in quiet. Spend time with God in scripture. Spend time with God in prayer. Take the time to be with God because he is our great reward. And the thing that everyone else lacks and doesn't know how to fill that void in their life, we have. Let us not neglect such a great gift as being with God in, in quiet and in prayer. Let's pray right now. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you that you are close to us, even, uh, even as close as, as the mention of your name. God, I pray that we would take advantage of that, that we would not waste the opportunity to be with you. That we would not waste that opportunity by spending it on other things that are less satisfying than the time that we spend with you. Lord, we love you and we trust you and we give ourselves to you. Lord, please uh, be with us, I pray. I pray today for our Jewish friends uh, starting the Feast of Booths this week. Lord, I pray that you would uh, be found by them, that you'd lead them, Lord, towards uh, a saving knowledge of your son, Jesus Christ, that they would know uh, him to which, him to whom the, uh, the, the tabernacles point, that uh, Jesus came and took on flesh and dwelt among us. God, I pray for the Celebrate Recovery meeting tonight. I pray that we bless the, the men and the women who are going to, uh, they would uh, know that they are, have um, access to you, Lord, and they can, that only you, Lord, are able to help them through their hurts, their habits, and their hangups. Lord, we love you, and we trust you, and we give ourselves to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I'm looking forward to spending some time with you later on this week, and, uh, and especially on Sunday at our first in-person service here at DeGarmo Road since it's been rebuilt. I look forward to you seeing the building and enjoying it together, worshiping together. Uh, it'll be a wonderful time. Looking forward to that. I love you, New Beginnings, and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.